February 2017. The Kenyan government declares drought a national disaster as hundreds of thousands across the country face starvation. Kilifi district at the Kenyan coast is one of the hardest hit with Ganza constituency bearing the brunt of the drought. Several months later, over 300,000 people of Marereni sublocation still suffer hunger. Nero Pandem Kauma watches as his family eats wild berries. The government relief rations are not enough to feed them. The drought has been here for about three years. People depend the staple food, which is maize, and the maize are drying up in the shambas. They were depending only on livestock, but those animals died because of prolonged drought. Niletewa report na mzee wa kijiji wa Wamboi village kwamba vijana wazee walitoroka wakaenda Mombasa kutafuta vibarua wale watoto walianza kutafuta haya matunda ya msituni matunda ya msituni mnajua hizi zinaitwa bao bao Sasa zile mbegu wanamumunya halafu zile tembe zile konde zile tembe wanazichemsha wakiweka chumvi alafu wakitafuna kama njuu. Nikaenda kwa SCC Ganze nikaletewa kagumi ya kamoja kamchele nikawapa. Serikali inaleta ma, inaleta msaada mchele. Je, mchele ule basi unapewa nusu mkebe. Na ukiangalia nyumbani una familia tu 25. Utashiba kweli? Mio nje atupo hiyo. The land is rocky, fit for the quarries that dot the area, but not rich enough to grow food. Watoto pia pata magonjwa mavumbi mengi sana. Wakohoa. Kile wakati ni hospitali. Watoto wasomi, tawangi ndo hao. Watendaji shule kabila ya chakula. About two years ago, there were school feeding programs, whereby schools were given food for, for only lunch programs. But now we don't have school programs. The, the enrollment has dropped down due to lack of food. Hata mara ingine wanalala madrasani because usifikirie pengine wamechoka hanga. Unajua mvua inaponyesha vibarua kwa mashamba wale wale ambao hawakuajiriwa, hawana pay slip, wanafanya hivi vibarua vya kulimia mashamba. Na kama mvua hainyeshi, watalimia mashamba kweli. Utaona timbo ni kubwa lakini wanatumia mashine. Wanawajiriwa pengine utapata watu 10 tu. Ili ume zaidi, umasitini, haupati pesa. Tafadhali watu wengine, wende waka, waka katele miti, watengese kama tanu, ndo wapate chakula, makaa. Mimi niliumia kwa sababu ya kuwa mimi napiga makaa, watoto wangu wapate kushiba. Kwa hivyo ningeomba, usaidizi msada uje. Kumpata Kennedy ni wakati wakawa lekuja mzee wataka timbo. Kutu na rafiki na mzee wangu Kennedy. My wife Gladys and I uh, went into Kilifi, Jaribuni area particularly to look for a quarry. And then uh, we met this wonderful family. As the years went by and uh, we never got to do the quarry business, um, there was a lot of hunger in Kilifi. 
And uh, one time, one day Kennedy told me, let's go around giving people food. The motivation actually came from church where every month there's one day we have a Thanksgiving service. So we used to give, when we visit them, we bring them food. And uh, we saw that that is really something that would keep them going for a while. That was um, November 2016, last year. But uh, the hunger was really, 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 really much. And then uh, one time we put food in our pickup and took to them. And we put this on uh, Facebook. And there was a reaction from a, f a friend of mine from America, Edgar Figueroa, who is the CEO and president of uh, Camelo. And a gentleman called Edgar commented and told him, uh, Kennedy, if that's what you're doing, I will join you. Edgar Figueroa is a great friends with the people of Goya, the ownership of Goya. And when uh, he told them there's this issue in Kilifi, they could they give a, could they give a container? And that is how come uh, now we were able to bring this uh, food in. The church donates clothes, shoes, and food items equivalent to 4,300 US dollars. Despite delays in clearing the container at the Mombasa port, the two loaded trucks head 72 kilometers to Marereni. Uh, the reason why we are here is because uh, the other two spots uh, have been given food by Christian Aid and the Catholic Church. Yeah, so our pastor is here and a few church members. We chose to do it at the chief's camp because then uh, they've helped us with all the logistics, getting uh, the, the most deserving families. And we have now opened the, the container, as you see. We are removing all, them, all of them and arranging them so that uh, the people will queue. Then we ensure that every family receives an item. <laughs> we were targeting about 150, but it seems as if we have about over 200. We see a lot of women. Women are the ones who are affected the most because they are the ones who till the land. Najua hizo ni siku kazi, sikai siku kama ini nitapumzika ile kuhangaika, kwenda kwa majirani, kupigia chabo, kumangalia, mepika nini, hiyo rore yangu itapumzika na wanangu pia hawataenda kwa majirani, mara wamegotwa kwa sababu ya chakula. God will always send people to know you. Ndiyo kwa sababu mlungu wa mala muhume kwenu ni mumanye zaidi. I don't know how they managed to know Kennedy. Wasa wa shanga wema ya zino Kennedy. And that is how God bless people. Let's bow down our heads as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for these provisions. Thank you for the donors. Thank you for the people that connect this community to the donor. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. I want them to understand just one thing as they collect this food. That God has not forgotten them. That they might look like they are cut off. They might look like they are in hiding. That that is in the hiding from the eyes of men. But that that is not from the eyes of God. That God has located them. That one thing I want you to do is to remember the company, the people that God used to donate this food. And in your own time to pray for them that they succeed. That when they, when they, when they pray, when they pray, 
They should always thank God for the people God used to bring this to them. That they should not think that their prayer cannot reach them. That if their food can reach here, I believe their prayer can reach there. So it's a circle that must complete. Okay. Nimepata mchele, unga, mahindi, na nganu, sukari, marage, beskuti, sa vile vingine vya mkebini siju vina ituaje. Haya usaidizi yambo tunapata kutuwa kwa serikali kwa utafauti na huu manake hawa jutuletea haina kama hii ya chakula. Kawaida wa hatupati vitu kama hivi tunapata kama unga tu peke yake na mahindi. Tumepata vitu vingi zaidi, tofauti tofauti za kutia afya haraka haraka. Goya ndo kampuni au Goya? Ndo kampuni. Goya sijafahamu maana yake kabisa lakini inaonekana ni hili ni shirika la upande wa chakula. Tunashukuru kwa vile umetupatia chakula ya kutosha. Nashukuru kwa kutukumbuka kwa kutuletea chakula na naomba waendelee kukumbuka zaidi kutuletea chakula when more people came what uh, shocked us is that uh, the food was more than enough so we are truly honored i feel really good i will sleep like a baby we distributed and it, there was leftover and people from nearby villages uh, started coming over and it has been very exciting and it opened our eyes to see that more need to be done to make the people of this area comfortable. I was uh, next to my son who was uh, distributing cookies and um, it was always a joy to especially add to the mothers who were carrying babies an extra uh, packet of cookies. It was really nice, it was really nice. For this uh, food from Goya, the assortment was clever. It was very um, compelling and uh, sufficient and it was uh, varied. So it is quite, uh, it's a wonderful thing. Some people were actually hungry and uh, started eating from right when they got their portions. I have seen a happy lot, a happy people. I have seen an overjoyed uh, group of villagers and that has really humbled me. It was a good feeling to know that you, you just helped someone. You, you want to make someone smile because when, when you make someone smile, it comes back to you. It has taught me that um, you you don't need to you don't need to drive big cars and have a lot of money to be called wealthy. You just need you just need um, you just need to be kind to others and make someone smile and know that you've made their day. This is something that uh, God led us to do, and uh, really not our own effort. Thank you. We are truly honored, uh, first of all, to Mr. Edgar and uh, the Goya Fraternity for helping us to accomplish this. And this is only the beginning. I've always known Goya Company, but I didn't know they operate in this dimension. And I say thank you very much to Goya. And uh, I want to advise people there, anywhere you see Goya product, please endeavor to buy because we are promoting such, uh, such, of, uh, such activity without knowing.